Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. This is Giant TCR Advanced Pro Disc 1 for the 2022 season and in this episode I'm gonna give you the buyer's guide for this bike and then at the end I will tell you should you just go ahead and buy it or should you just consider this bike. As you see, it's a mouthful of bike names for this uh, giant uh, TCR, but sometimes giant uh, just likes to use this very long bike names. Okay, so first thing first, <coughs> what is the retail price of this bike? So as you see, the retail price is 4,400 British pounds. So definitely now we are speaking uh, about a bit higher price levels of the bikes because I always consider that there is this sweet range today about three to 4,000 US dollars British pounds or euros. And then when you cross that level, then you know bike prices can really become eye-watering. So 4,400 British pounds. And let's answer the question, who is this bike? for. So you see giant TCR platform is a legendary climbing machine, lightweight, stiff climbing machine. If you are in the market and looking for something lightweight climbing, then definitely you have to check uh, giant uh, TCR uh, platform. You can see giant TCR bikes all over the professional cycling, especially if you look at the grand tours like Tour de France, Vuelta, Giro, there is always some team running giant TCR bikes because they are absolutely excellent machines. So uh, we can also talk about now a bit uh, about the paint scheme on the bike. So as you see, there is only one paint scheme on offer and this is this uh, classical black on black or as giant calls it gloss black. I mean it looks very classy and decent. But then again, with the retail price of 4,400 British pounds, I would truly hope that there would be another two paint schemes on offer. This is one of the things that you might notice on a lot of bike brands that uh, depending on the bike model you are buying, there could only be one paint scheme on offer like in this case. So now let's dive into the specifications of this bike and let's really see what do you get for your hard earned money. As always, uh, we are kicking off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is a carbon fiber, advanced grade composite from Giant. And also the fork is the carbon fiber, advanced grade composite with the full carbon uh, overdrive steer. Both frame and the fork uh, come with the internal cable routing, 12 millimeter through axles and also flat mount disc brakes both front and the back. This frame is going to be with the SRAM dub uh, press fit bottom bracket standard <clears throat> because you will see the whole group set on this bike is going to be a SRAM uh, group set, SRAM rival group set. Also keep in mind that the Giants uh, frames come with a lifetime warranty, which is absolutely superb. And also uh, keep in mind that the Giant is a truly a legend when it comes to making carbon fiber parts, frames, forks and everything else. And they truly know what they are doing. So absolutely no complaints here uh, from me about this uh, carbon frame and the fork. When you look at the handlebar and handlebars and the stem on this bike, what do you get? So the stem is the Giant Contact SL and also the handlebars you are getting Giant Contact SL. So these are aluminum pieces, absolutely fine, no complaints here. And also I'm really glad that both handlebar and the stem are uh, regular pieces, uh, separate pieces, nothing is proprietary here. So it's easy to, you know, replace in the future, upgrade or if you want to fine tune the position on your bike, this is it, it's super easy. So I'm really glad that handlebar and the stem, in this case, nothing is proprietary. When you look at the saddle, you are getting a giant fleet SL saddle. Well, giant saddles recently have been very good. Uh, so I would definitely suggest you to keep this saddle as long as possible if you like it. If not, uh, saddles are a personal preference and very easy to replace. And also the seat post on this bike, of course, a giant uh, carbon fiber seat post, uh, excellent stuff. It's a must have on any road bike, in my opinion, because a carbon seat post is going to soak up so much of the smaller road bumps. 
Now let's have a look at the group set on this bike. So what do you get? So everything from uh, shifters, front mech and the rear mech is the SRAM rival ETAP group set. So this is a 12 speed wireless group set. So all the components are communicating wirelessly, which is absolutely great. So there's no cables on the bike. And this SRAM rival ETAP has been long enough on the market that uh, any kind of uh, little problems that it might have in the beginning has been sorted now. It's a perfectly fine wireless group set. It's going to work perfectly fine. I will just mention here that when you look at the rear mech on this bike, the maximum cassette you can fit is 36 tooth cassette, which again is absolutely excellent. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a two chain ring setup and the front uh, braking system on this bike is also done by SRAM rival hydraulic disc brakes with the SRAM paceline rotors. Uh, these rotors are 160 millimeters front and uh, 140 millimeters back. I have no clue why Giant does it on some of their bikes, uh, 140 millimeter braking rotors. Personally, I advise you when you destroy this rear rotor, buy yourself a 160 millimeter paceline rotor and just mount it there you'll have so much more heat dissipation and so much more braking power. There's no point of saving few grams on the braking rotors when ultimately what you need is a braking power and heat dissipation. Especially imagine if you are going uh, downhill on some very long downhill, like few kilometers of downhill, <clears throat> you don't want your brakes to overheat. So definitely 160 millimeters both front and the back is my advice for uh, braking discs. Now let's talk about the cassette and the chain. So the cassette is the SRAM Rival 12 speed cassette and this is the Rival XG1250 cassette. Absolutely beautiful uh, piece of engineering, but just keep in mind that in the future uh, when you need to replace this cassette, this is a pricey item. This is going to set you back approximately 130 euros or US dollars or British pounds, so it is a little pricey item. Chain, of course, they have used the SRAM Rival D1 chain perfectly fine and I also advise you in the future to use a SRAM rival chain or any other SRAM compatible 12 speed chain just because it's going to be compatible with the cassette and the crankset. Uh, also uh, when we spoke about the cassette I forgot to mention that this is a 1030 cassette and this is paired with the crankset which is SRAM rival crankset D1. This is a 3548 uh, crank set and also it comes with the power meter which is absolutely excellent in this price range of 4400 British pounds you rarely see a bike with power meter so uh, absolutely excellent so uh, two chain rings at the front 3548 paired with a 1030 cassette you you won't have any problems in climbing steep mountains but if you do always keep in mind that as I said the rear mech can take all the way to 36 tooth cassette so you can always you know upgrade the cassette and take maybe 1032 1034 or even 1036 cassettes depending what um, SRAM has on offer now let's talk about the wheels on this bike because I think this is also one of the secret sources of this bike so you are getting in my opinion excellent giant SLR1 42 carbon wheel set. So this uh, carbon wheel set from Giant I think is truly excellent. So this is uh, of course a tubeless ready wheel set and with this bike Giant will prepare it tubeless ready so tubeless valve tubeless tape and also this carbon wheel set is the Giant's uh, hookless uh, rims so just always keep in mind that uh, when you are mounting certain tires on these hookless rims make sure they are compatible with hookless rims and now a lot of tires are compatible. This carbon wheel set has a 42 millimeters rim height and 19.2 millimeters inner rim width. When it comes to hubs, these are giant own hubs with sealed cartridge bearings, low friction hubs, and also at the, at the back wheel, you are getting a ratchet drive system, 30 tooth system. You have seen the ratchet drive system originally at DT Swiss wheels, so this is a very nice addition. Probably Giant has taken some patents from DT Swiss and used it on this uh, wheel. Also, I have to mention here, of course, it's 12mm true axles front and the back. Uh, you are getting 24 uh, SAPIM uh, spokes on this uh, bike, excellent stuff on this wheel set. And also, the total weight of this wheel set is only 1452 grams. So, absolutely excellent carbon fiber wheel set that you are getting on this bike again in this uh, price range. Now let's talk about the tires. So Giant is using their own Gavia Course 1 tires. 
tubeless tires. These are 25 millimeter tires, although Giant claims that effective width would be 28 millimeters. Again, excellent stuff, a lot of air volume and really smooth bike ride. But also if you want in the future you can really mount a 28 millimeter tire on this bike just because the frame can accept all the way to 32 millimeter tires so you can really get a nice air volume and properly smooth ride on this uh, bike. A giant uh, didn't give uh, exact uh, bike weight uh, but I would expect for this lightweight climbing machine in the size let's say medium large to be approximately 8 kilograms which uh, usually giant TCR platform is on the lighter side of the bikes so definitely I would expect it as I say around 8 kilograms which is very good for this uh, level of the bike including the SRAM rival wireless group set. So in a summary what is my advice to you when you consider that this uh, giant TCR advanced uh, pro one costs uh, 4400 British pounds. I can easily recommend you to just go ahead and buy this bike. It's an excellent offering from Giant in a very good price range and definitely the highlights of this bike include a fully wireless group set from SRAM, SRAM Rival 12 speed wireless group set, carbon fiber wheels from Giant and also excellent carbon frame and the fork again from Giant. It's a very good offering from Giant and it's easy for me to recommend you this bike to just go ahead and buy it. So I think this is going to be it uh, for today. I hope you like what I'm doing and if you do keep on watching, keep on liking and as always I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!